The Ancient Solfeggio Scale Solfeggio Scale, known as Just Intonation, is best known for its use in the soothing Gregorian chants, but its history can be traced back to Biblical times. The ancient six-tone scale, and an additional three tones that have been discovered since, I think the three tones were just the guy um, serving his own ego, um, so I choose not to listen to the additional three tones. Um, do your own research and see what you think. It is considered by many musicologists and scientists to have a positive effect on the mind and body. Way back in the 11th century, a Benedictine monk named Guido de Arezzo introduced a musical scale that we now know as the Solfeggio Frequencies, though some argue they're even older than that. The monks used these original six Solfeggio notes, 396, 417, 528, 639, 741, and 852 in their Gregorian chants. If you've ever, ever heard one of these chants, you're already familiar with music that uses the Solfeggio scale. If you look up Masters of Chants on YouTube, um, it's like modern music done in the Gregorian style. Uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, the Vitamin String Quartet does instrumental versions of modern songs too. If you, Unfortunately, by the 16th century, the scale was lost, though the exact cause is unknown. Some say the Solfeggio was simply abandoned for a new music scale. Others argue that it disappeared among the political and religious turmoil of Western Europe's Middle Ages. And there are even some who posit some more, well, conspiratorial theories, from biblical secrets to plots by the Roman Catholic Church. Whatever the cause, the six-tone solfeggio, also known as just intonation, was replaced by the twelve-tone equal temperament, which is what we still use today. But why exactly is this important? Why should you care how musicians tune their work? It's important because many argue that we lost more than a simple musical scale when the solfeggio frequencies were replaced. Our modern 12-tone scale is thought to suppress our emotions, stifle our intuition, and limit our consciousness. It's even out of sync with the natural world and can thus manifest in physical symptoms like pain or disease. On the other hand, the solfeggio frequencies are mathematically consistent with the patterns of our universe and, as we'll explain below, have been shown to have significant healing abilities. From repairing emotional trauma and opening up our consciousness to deepening our relationships and even altering our very DNA, this ancient scale has far-reaching potential. The good news is the Solfeggio frequencies are lost no more. In the 1970s, a man named Dr. Joseph Puglio was inspired to use Pythagorean math to examine the Book of Numbers in the Old Testament Bible. In chapter 7, verses 12 through 83, he uncovered a pattern. And this pattern just so happened to coincide with the original six Solfeggio notes. Puglio published his work in the book Healing Codes for the Biological Apocalypse in partnership with Dr. Leonard Horowitz. The original Solfeggio tones, 396 hertz, but, turning grief into joy, liberating guilt and fear. The first or lowest frequency, 396 hertz, is associated with the tone ut. This frequency is important because of its ability to ease and remove the feelings of guilt and fear we've accumulated throughout our life. These negative emotions are often holding us back from our goals, so clearing them from our conscious and subconscious mind enables us to make new progress in both the material and spiritual world. With 396 hertz, we spend less time racked with grief and worry and more time experiencing the joys and endless possibilities of life. 417 hertz, re, undoing situations and facilitating change. The next frequency in the scale, 417 hertz, is associated with the tone re. It is the frequency of change and renewal. Just as guilt and fear can be an obstacle along the path to growth, so too can the traumatic experiences we've had in life that remain impressed or weighed upon our consciousness. 
Like the waves washing the beach, 417 hertz clears the debris of negative memories and influences from our mind and soul, helping us change our perspective and face the present and future with fresh eyes and a fresh spirit. 528 hertz, me, transformation, miracles, and DNA repair. As we continue to work our way down the scale, we come to 528 hertz, which is also known as me. Me is said to come from the Latin word mira gestorum, or miracle, which is fitting for this note that brings what might be called miraculous transformation not only in our consciousness, but in our very DNA. 528 hertz is used in DNA repair, which brings with it increased energy, clarity, and peace of mind and spirit, along with enhanced creativity. 528 hertz's effects have also earned it the name, the love frequency. 639 hertz, fa, reconnecting and balancing relationships. The fourth frequency on the scale is 639 hertz, or fa. It's a tone of connection and relationships, creating peace and harmony in our relations with the people around us. Whether friends, family, or strangers, it can smooth over any rockiness or resentment between us and our loved ones. Fa is a social frequency, one of understanding, sympathy, tolerance, and mutual respect. 741 hertz, soul, solving problems, expressions, and solutions. At the fifth frequency, we come to 741 hertz, otherwise known as soul. This is a tone of problem solving, more specifically problems relating to our ability to express ourselves freely and openly. 741 hertz frees us of the emotional restrictions, but it also removes toxins and electromagnetic radiation from our cells. It promotes a healthier and more stable life, both emotionally and physically. 852 hertz, law, awakening intuition, returning to spiritual order. As we've climbed the scale from the lowest to the highest frequencies, we find ourselves dealing with higher planes of consciousness. 852 hertz, or law, the last of the original Sylphegio frequencies, enables us to connect with a higher power, the ever-present spirit of the universe, and gives us a glimpse of the spiritual order, while also bringing us more in tune with our own higher self. The song Imagine by John Lennon was recorded in 528 hertz. Apparently bees buzz at 528 hertz. Hmm. Intriguing.